One example is the incredible amount of control those people still exercise in the continent. You find those coups or bad governance happening on the watch of the very people who colonize those countries and still working with them as nothing, as if nothing is happening. Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. Uh, when we, we talk about coups, coup d'etats are a very bad thing. There's no question about it. But people need to go beyond just hearing coup d'etats and look at what is the possible origin of these coups. And the coups also presupposes that these are just uh, military people taking over power from constitutional or civilian governments. But you have to understand also that there are some very bad civilian governments too. So that's one thing leads to another, and therefore in, in analyzing that, you want to see what is the cause, what is the cause of this bad thing that has happened, and then fix that. So when you look at uh, governance generally, you want to look at which place that is able to look at or look after its own people, make the very vestments we are talking about so that uh, people and countries can thrive. This bad governance and coups are not confined to Africa. In fact, they have association with the interaction of the rest of the world, particularly those countries that, as of origin as we know, were either the colonizers of, and even after colonial times, Actually, the sort of uh, relationship between those who were colonized by, with the colonizers uh, stayed in a different form and stayed affecting the people of the continent. One example is the incredible amount of control those people still exercise in the continent. You find those coups or bad governance happening on the watch of the very people who colonize those countries and still working with them as nothing, as if nothing is happening. Happen. When things go wrong, of course, uh, you are right to blame the Africans. I think for me, I would blame them for having allowed it in the first place, having allowed that People from outside should come to any country, to Africa, and start telling people what to do, what not to do, and when things go wrong, they just jump the ship and they start blaming uh, the very people they told to do what they did and later on backfired. There we have it. That has been our candid speech for today. Please feel free to give your opinions in the descriptions below. On this show, we don't tell you how to think or manipulate you. Everybody is open to air the opinion, what you think about the speech. Did you love it? Did you like it? Do you disagree with it? Do you agree with it? Please let us know in the comments below. That's important. Discussing these issues is very important. So now with that said, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Share this video with friends and family. It's the best way for YouTube to spread this video further, okay? Uh, so it's been me, Mikey Mushi from Tunacheki. And always remember, Africa is watching. Please show your support by liking and sharing this video for the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. And always remember, Africa is watching.